Romanova, and I'll be your host for this evening. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for coming down here tonight to watch the amazing selection of films. This time we have quite a variety of projects from such a talented filmmakers. Some of them I've worked with in the past, some of them I'm meeting for the first time. But it always amazes me how much creativity can be expressed in just one project. So anyway, I hope you're looking forward to watching these films just as much as I am. And I'm wishing you a fabulous and enjoyable evening. Our first filmmaker is Matt Whistler with his project, Matt Cat Pratt. Hello everyone, this is YouTube Live. That's right, it means it could have been recorded 10 years ago. But who cares, there's lots of it. Anyway, it's live from Los Angeles, but there might be an awkward delay. Yulia, what was your first question? Oh, hi Matt. Uh, what got you here tonight? One electric scooter, two train journeys, and a piggyback for a rose vendor. Question number two, please, Yulia. Uh, why are you being comical with your answers? Well, I've been wearing hats and playing multi-personae characters for years now, so this is me extrapolating my own urine. Yulia, question number three, please. Uh, what is extrapolating your own urine? It's taking the proverbial out of your sin. <laughs> Yulia, question number four. Uh, is there any person tonight who can help you? <laughs> Thank you, Matt. <laughs> well, nice talking to you. So now let's see some more serious Matt. Well, I'm not being funny there, but this is the same studio as the Los Angeles mock-up. He's just going to make the whole film look low budget. Matt, where's that coffee? Well, my first movie was called Radio West Pier. This was a story about two guys living under the West Pier in Brighton on the seabed in a rickety rackety fortune teller's box broadcasting pirate radio to the masses. Radio West Pier. Listen to it in your eyes. Following that, I made a half hour uh, movie which was a stitching together of YouTube friendly uh, street comedy clips, two of which included um, two of my virals that um, spun around the world back in 2010 um, during the highest uh, snowfall on record. And um, well, the last six years I've been putting together a a semi-biopic movie about my art life creating robots with my alter ego, aka Whistles. Unfortunately, the um, robot animator relocated to Malvern um, as he was offered a plumbing job, um, so I've had to put that film on hold. That monkey and polystyrene shop was genius. But something quite remarkable has happened since. Um, I um, met a guy, or should I say a cat, or something or someone in a pub in Brighton somehow managed to convince me that uh, he genuinely believed he was a cat and human in equal measure, a hybrid. And um, I decided to use him as a subject for my artwork by documenting his life. He calls himself uh, Matt Cat Pratt. I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to document Matt Cat Pratt and make him the subject of my arts, both artistically, cinematically, and comedically. Conveying the true essence of Matt Cat Pratt 
through social realism. A man trapped in a cat's body. During the um, documentation of Matt Cat Pratt, and after a second meeting in a pub, it transpired that um, Matt Cat Pratt was actually a method actor, or at least he told me he was a method actor. And to be honest, I didn't quite know what to believe, but. Um, we were doing so well with our friendship and uh, analysing someone that was leading a double life felt more real than, um, than acting. So I decided to continue with the project and uh, document this man's remarkable life. I suppose the method acting side of this story became more convincing when I realised that uh, Matt Cat Pratt was actually sleeping in his costume at night time. Um, which I did manage to capture on film. Suffocating to say the least. It was fun convincing the film director in a bar that I genuinely believe I'm half human, half cat. It basically meant I didn't have to pay for my own comedy as he made a short documentary about my life instead. There are benefits. I can alternate between human biscuits and cat ones. Also, one does meet a wider network of people. Whizzing around town on my electric scooter is quicker. Sometimes I lose control because, uh, well, I just get agitated. That's part of the acting. I'm a method actor. Well, let me tell you something. After three months of being a cat, I've already started putting in method cat on my CV. That's how good I am at convincing myself. There are some boundaries. I don't sniff animals. It's not an artistic compromise. It's just that my method acting is trying to create a human-cat hybrid. But I suppose I feel more cat at the moment. The art scene in Brighton is phenomenal. I can tag myself into the art without getting sprayed over. I have fallen off things, but I've got a rubber arse, so I always get back up again. Relationships, well, what can I say? It saddens me to think that I might appeal to someone as a cat. <laughs> During the making of Mad Cat Pride, I took five static shots of him standing in various locations that I felt matched the character and used that shot as inspiration for my digital artwork. It almost felt like I was rolling together artistic inspiration and cinema into one metaphorical ball. In the past, I've been fortunate enough to exhibit my robot artwork in a robot hotel in Manhattan. And um, through this, I met the wonderful Lloyd Kaufman and traveled to the Cannes Film Festival. And you will soon be able to see Matt Whistler spewing all sorts of green bodily fluids all over himself as he melts down in Return to Newcomb High, Volume 2, from Trauma, of course. Well, my name is Matt Whistler. I, uh, two years ago, I had a rather bizarre internet success with two internet virals. I had over two million hits on the internet. And this is when I, my robot movie was moving along at a healthy pace. Um, but, um, uh, in the last two years, I've been in an art duo called The Artful Bodgers, uh, which has been fantastic as I've been art pranking on social media and convincing people there are sharks in rivers and um, alien abductions outside of Pavilion Gardens in Brighton. I'm really enjoying that, that partnership and um, want that to continue, but the uh, Matt the Cat Pratt project has been a solo project and um, it's a nice way for me to express my uh, sort of individual artistic ideas and uh, yeah, Matt the Cat Pratt, 
finally, I just wanted to say thank you to Rob for giving me a great opportunity to tell this story. He's up there in the projection room, baking away. So I'll see you at the bar. The next one's on me, although it is my birthday. <laughs> different and insightful. <laughs> By the way, you can catch uh, Mad Cat Pratt on YouTube. Now, our next filmmaker is a bit more 